several principles, several uh, rules that you have to follow. Rule number one in this position, uh, after bishop b5, knight d4, uh, castle, knight takes b5, knight takes b5, d6, d3, knight f6, and knight c3. You have to go only with the knight on f6. You go queen e1 and queen h4. You have to put the queen there, go f5, and go bishop h6. Now, this is very important. You have to realize, I mentioned it in the beginning, that white's light square bishop and black's knight are off the board. Now, if you notice in this position, where it's black's move, if black plays knight d4, that's the move we, that's the move we uh, analyzing now, but to jump ahead to a completely different chapter, I just want to let you know that that's the way you have to understand that position, not by moves. Because black may play completely different variation arriving to identical position. Black may go d6, we're going to study this move, d3, bishop d7, castle, knight f6, bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, and queen e1. This is the same type of position. Different move. Black did not play knight d4 on the fifth move. But the same position. Why? Queen is on e1. White's light square bishop and black's queen side knight are exchanged. The fact that bishop is on c6 and not on c8 it may have may make slight difference but makes absolutely no difference in white's plan white has to religiously follow the same exact plan now but we will get to this continuation later so when Black goes knight d4, and we castle, knight is on g8. Well, there, the, there is the position, and, uh, and we castle, there is the position where um, black, we just looked at knight takes b5 move, knight takes b5, and black chose to play knight f6, or d6 first which transposes to the same position. But there is important move you have to know. D5 move. Now, it's a very controversial move. It's a temporary pawn sacrifice by black. And here, I like this position for white. The English players, British players, they developed and they have long time, they used to play this variation, but they only play e5. I'm not saying e5 is wrong move. No, you can go e5, but I'm not going to analyze e5 now because I have no development of my own on this. and. You can just pick up the games and look at what happens after e5. That's not a topic I want to discuss. Move I want to discuss is e takes d. Now, obviously, queen takes d5 is not possible because of knight c7 check. So the move is, there are two moves black has. a6, which is the main move, and knight f6. Uh, knight f6, I think it's a simply bad move because after c4, uh, black is a pawn down without any compensation. Then later on, uh, well, actually a6 may be played now, knight c3. I played, 
some grandmaster played against me this position, and I think this is uh, uh, absolutely terrible position for black. I went d4, and after c takes d4, uh, surprisingly for him, I played queen takes d4. There is no square this knight can go that create big threat, and if knight goes anywhere, I don't know, knight h5 or something, we can go even knight e5, and then we develop bishop e3 going c5, where we have extra pawn and uh, nearly winning position. So, I don't think you're going to see uh, if you play someone who knows anything about this, I don't think you're going to see knight f6. The correct move is a6, knight c3, and now knight f6. And here, let me tell you something. If black manages to take on d5 and castle, they will have very good, maybe better position. But this position should be analyzed not by pawn structure, uh, not positionally, but concretely. And concretely, we have here d4 move, which creates certain problems for black. And what are they? Black has here only two continuations, either c4 and try to take on, d4, on d5 next move, or knight takes d5 right away. c takes d is not an option, because after queen takes d4, um, black has absolutely no compensation for a pawn. So let's look at CD or knight takes d5 uh, in any order, in random order. Let's go with c4. On c4, now for full happiness, black needs to play knight takes d5. White's move. We go queen e2, attacking the c4 pawn. Now, this is the part, one of very few parts in Sicilian where you have to memorize and play position exactly. Queen e2, attacking c4 pawn, b5. Black is going to get the d5 pawn back. We go knight e5. Knight takes d5. Now, after knight takes d5, we could go knight c6, which I don't recommend, and I don't want to go to a long analysis and explanations why we don't play knight c6. We just don't do that. It's not something we have to do here. The correct move is a4 attacking b5 pawn because the rook on a8 after a b a b will be on pre so the black should be playing here knight takes c3 pawn takes c3 and bishop b7 and now we go bishop a3 we have very good diagonal for bishop black castles. Here, we don't take on b5 because we don't need black through come into play. No. We simply play rook a1 to e1. Now you see that white's pieces perfectly placed towards the center and the king side. So we want to go f5 and start king side attack. And you see that even bishop that stands on a3 is practically attacking the uh, king side. 
we know that bishop is a long range piece and in order to attack the king side bishop has to be on queen side and in order to attack the queen side has to be on king side because that's the way diagonal works so this position I think it's clearly better for white uh, because black has to worry about e7 pawn about f5 move and possibly queen g4 rook e3 and the rook h3 now we cannot analyze it concretely black black's position is far from being lost black can go queen d6 queen uh, um, they cannot go queen d6 they can go queen c7 yeah but then we can go f5 if we want to or we could go queen g4 rook e3 rook h3 as i showed or we can go h4 and h5 try to shake black's position a little bit and open the h file maybe well now what is the best way to attack in this position you know all of the ways i just mentioned they are all good and i like them all of course what black has some uh defense defensive resources but that's the way we want to play and this position i strongly believe is better for white now, but black has in that in a position where they played c4 they have different continuations that bring us to very unusual i may say bizarre uh, bizarre pawn structure but it's um, amazingly it's very good for uh, white and master damien lemos first of all i hope you enjoyed um, this video if you would like to receive more free chess videos from us you can just click the subscribe button below i would also highly recommend signing up for my free mail course, The 10 Grandmaster Secrets to Dominate Chess. During this exclusive course from onlinechesslessons.net, I'll share with you my own Grandmaster shortcuts to effective attacking, defending, and growth hacks to improving your chess without um, complicated books or memorization. So sign up by clicking the sidebar on the right and I know you won't be disappointed. Once more this is Damien uh, for OnlineChessLessons.net and I'll see you um, in my videos. Thank you.